Hello everyone from the City of Good Neighbors, Buffalo, New York. While I have gotten to know almost everyone in our class, I still wanted to introduce myself. My name is Pat Gilson and I am proud to be the class president for the Des Moines University DO class of 2020. That is also why I'm incredibly saddened by the fact that we cannot celebrate this award ceremony and graduation together in Des Moines. After being away on rotations for these past two years, there was nothing that I was looking forward to more than being able to see you all before heading off to residency. Alas, we are now in the midst of a global pandemic that is understandably and safely keeps us separated. Still, it is hard to shake that desire for closure to a transformative period in our lives. Look, we've been through a lot. We put long hours into the anatomy lab, conquered the OMM practicals, pushed through rigorous testing every three to five days, made study spots in the library that became our sacred territory, studied all day or all night, depending on your personality, juggled extracurricular research and volunteer commitments, fought for student voice and dignity, passed level and step one boards, dove into each major medical specialty with, uh, with core rotations, gave countless oral patient presentations, and then squirmed when the attending asked tough questions, passed all shelf exams, passed level and step two boards, decided on a medical specialty we will practice for the rest of our lives, showed what we were made of on audition rotations, often moving to new areas only for a month at a time, and interviewed all across the country while continuing our elective rotations. Like I said, that was a lot, quite the wild ride. We've been so busy that it is easy to forget all that has been accomplished in medical school. It is high time now that we celebrate those many milestones that will soon give us the immense privilege and responsibility of being called physicians. We have done more than learn medicine these past four years. We have grown together through our common endeavor. From early on, I knew our class was unique. Sure, everyone was smart and determined. It's what got us accepted. But I was struck by the collegiality that quickly took effect and how readily everyone was to lend a helping hand or commiserate in difficult times. We also shared in our successes, often at Wellman's or Exile. It was nothing like the cutthroat competitiveness you hear about medical school. Our camaraderie served as a source of resilience in the face of a challenge, but it also gave me incredible hope for the kind of influence the class of 2020 will have on our patients. For us, serving others and putting people first are the driving forces. My hope is that we will continually return to this ethos for moral clarity throughout our careers. The call of duty has never been greater for a new generation of physicians. We will be on the front lines of treating this deadly virus, guiding patients through uncharted territories and doing all that we can to limit its effects. At the same time, we will be adjusting to our many newfound responsibilities, an immense trial in and of itself. But you know what I say, we've got this. Our fortitude is unquestionable, our commitment is indisputable, our compassion undeniable. It has been such an honor going through this journey with you all. With that, I am pleased to kick off our award ceremony. Hello, class of 2020. As your medical school dean, I am very pleased to greet you today and celebrate with you your accomplishments through this virtual graduation awards ceremony. I've not had much of a chance to connect with you until the last two months during your careers at DMU, but know that the DMU administration and all of your faculty are incredibly proud of all of you. A variety of people will be presenting awards to your class members today, both from the DMU campus and leaders from statewide organizations that play a vital role in supporting the College of Osteopathic Medicine and its efforts in educating the highest quality physicians that practice compassionate medicine. I am happy to welcome them here today. As someone that is blessed and honored to have placed my signature on each of your diplomas, know that the pride that we all have in your accomplishments over the last four years is significant. Congratulations to you all.
This is a very special time in our ceremony that I get to recognize a long-standing legend professor at DMU. Very rarely is a professor given emeritus status at DMU by the dean, the provost, the university president, and the board of trustees. I'm very proud to announce the awarding of Professor Emeritus status to George Clavenna, D-O-M-P-H. Dr. Clavenna joined DMU in 1986 as an assistant professor of surgery and ophthalmology. Dr. Clavenna served DMU with student instruction and service for 32 years, progressing through the ranks to retire as a professor in 2018. He served as the chair of ophthalmology at Mercy Hospital in Des Moines for over 20 years up until just last year. He has received multiple DMU state and national awards and has served DMU, his community and his profession in an exemplary fashion. I am very happy to congratulate Dr. Clavenna on his emeritus status. Congratulations. Hello, it is my pleasure to announce the recipient of the Clinical Adjunct Faculty Award for Excellence in Teaching. This award is presented to a clinical preceptor who has made a special contribution to the education of our students by providing our students excellent clinical training. The graduating class nominates those individuals who they feel fit this criterion. One nominator for this year's recipient notes that he treats students like the future colleagues that they are. He was described by his nominator as humble, honest, genuine, and kind. According to his nominator, he sets an example to students by acknowledging his limitations and studying in his free time, as well as providing thoughtful care and immense compassion to patients. The 2020 award recipient is Dr. Robert Bender from Broadlawns Medical Center. We congratulate Dr. Bender and are grateful for his service to our students. Greetings. For those of you who are watching who do not know who I am, I'm Craig Camby. I'm Associate Dean for Academic Curriculum and Medical Programs in the College of Osteopathic Medicine. I am now pleased to uh, present the honor cords to students who finish the second academic year in the top 10% of their class. The recipients of honor cords are Nafis Ahmed, Sean Crawford, Courtney Donahue, James Dorish, Tyler Folkerts, Matthew Gibbs, Patrick Gilson, Tyler Greiner, Katherine Guyman, Haley Hardison, Hannah Hartman, Reese Haas, Preston Hatch, Nicholas Henry, Katherine Honer, Autumn Grissel, Nicholas Loken, Sydney O'Pelt, Nicole Pagel, Eric Pollock, Alyssa Resop, and lastly, Miranda Rowland. Congratulations to our recipients of being in the top 10%. I'm excited to announce the Clinical Discipline Award Certificates. The Clinical Discipline Awards are given to outstanding fourth year DO students who have excelled in the following clinical disciplines as nominated by each department. So we'll start with the Department of Behavioral Medicine. The award goes to William Alexander Benyon. William has chosen psychiatry as his specialty and will be doing his residency at the University of Utah Health in Salt Lake City. From the Department of Family Medicine, the award goes to Courtney Jo Donahoe. Courtney has chosen family medicine as her specialty and will be doing her residency at University of Minnesota Medical School in Duluth. Now on to the Department of Internal Medicine. 
and the award goes to Autumn Crucial. Autumn has chosen internal medicine as her specialty and will be doing her residency at Central Iowa Health System, Iowa Methodist in Des Moines. From the Department of OBGYN, the award goes to Miranda Marie Rowland. Miranda has chosen obstetrics and gynecology as her specialty and will be doing her residency at Henry Ford Health System, Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital in Wyandotte, Michigan. For the Department of Osteopathic Manual Medicine, we have three recipients. The first, Bradley Michael Becker. Bradley has chosen internal medicine as his specialty and will be doing his residency at Medical City Healthcare in Arlington, Texas. The second award goes to Austin Pillion. Austin is cho has chosen family medicine as his specialty and will be doing his residency at Central Iowa Health System, Iowa Lutheran in Des Moines. The final OMM award goes to Amelia Balderston. Amelia has chosen pediatrics as her specialty, and she will be doing her residency at the University of Louisville School of Medicine in Louisville, Kentucky. Now we're gonna transition over to the Department of Specialty Medicine. And in the area of ophthalmology, the award goes to Erica Christine Rouse White. Erica's transitional year of residency will be done at Ascension Macomb Oakland Hospital in Warren, Michigan. And then her residency education will continue at St. John Macomb Oakland in Warren, Michigan, specializing in ophthalmology. Also in the Department of Specialty Medicine in the area of pediatrics, the award goes to Haley Alexandra Hardison. Haley has chosen pediatrics as her specialty and will be doing her residency at the University of Florida College of Medicine Arnold Palmer Hospital in Orlando, Florida. And lastly, uh, but not least, in the Department of Specialty Medicine in the area of surgery, the award goes to Katherine Carter Honer. Katherine has chosen general surgery as her specialty and will be doing her residency at the Creighton University Affiliated Hospital St. Joseph's in Phoenix, Arizona. Congratulations to all of the award recipients and best of luck in your residencies. Hi, it's Dr. Pilly here with the Department of Specialty Medicine. I'm one of the pediatricians on faculty here. It's my privilege to present the Garrett Reed Wheeler Award to a graduating senior who has chosen to pursue pediatrics as their chosen profession. I'm delighted to say that this year's award goes to Katherine Ann Guyman, who will be doing her pediatric residency at University Hospitals in Columbia, Missouri. I'm sorry that I'm not able to present it in person, but I want to tell you that I'm super excited for your future career in pediatrics, and I wish you the very best. Congratulations. The Department of Global Health at DMU creates, develops, and facilitates international opportunities for students to learn about medicine and healthcare systems around the world and within the United States. We currently have 15 international rotation sites in 11 countries, as well as offering service trips and distinguished global health internships. Today, we would like to recognize a global health leader in the class of 2020. This student went on the Global Health Service trip to Breathitt County, Kentucky in 2018 and was a leader for the Public Health Project on Cyberbullying during the trip. This student was selected for the DMU Distinguished Global Health Internship at the CDC in Atlanta, Georgia in the summer of 2018. During this internship, she conducted a research project on integrated mosquito management and its use and effectiveness in the United States. Her work on mosquito management and the West Nile virus was published and can be viewed on the CDC website. This student was planning on completing a four-week international rotation at Juan Corpus University in Bogota, Colombia this spring, which was unfortunately unable to take place due to COVID-19. It is my pleasure to present the 2020 Global Health Outreach Award to Christine Jackson.
I'm Dr. Fermaro, and I'm presenting the Howard Graney Award for Outstanding Achievement in Surgery. The Howard Graney Surgical Fund was established in honor of Howard A. Graney, the first surgeon to graduate from Des Moines General Hospital Osteopathic Surgery Program in 1933. The fund supports and rewards excellence in surgery education and advanced training to meet the needs of the future. The Howard Graney Award for Outstanding Achievement in Surgery recognizes a graduating student who has demonstrated exceptional academic performance and service within the discipline of surgery, meeting an established set of criteria during medical school years two, three, and four. This year's award goes to Matthew Gibbs. Matthew will be, his, will be going to a surgery program in orthopedic surgery at Metro Health University of Michigan in Wyoming, Michigan. Congratulations, Matthew. Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Dove and I'm the current president of the Iowa Osteopathic Medical Association. You know, in 1993, the Iowa Osteopathic Medical Association Board of Trustees started awarding the Service Achievement Award to a graduating osteopathic student who was active in student affairs, who is active in community and civic affairs, and who is a member in good standing with the Student Osteopathic Medical Association. This year's award recipient not only meets those criteria, but far exceeds them and has an impressive curriculum vitae already started. He is a natural leader. His peers elected him president of the Student Government Medical Association, and he successfully balanced a rigorous academic load while also interfacing between students and the administration, organizing student activities, and representing DMU at numerous conferences and events. He has a wide range of interests and prior work experience. He comes to every situation with a well-rounded, mature perspective that makes him an asset in a team-oriented environment. He served on the Ioma Board of Trustees. He was admitted to the Omega Beta Iota National Osteopathic Political Honor Society, Sigma Sigma Phi National Honor Society, and Gold Humanism Honor Society. Physicians who have mentored him during his rotations described his enthusiastic, pleasant, knowledgeable, reliable, and very engaging. He goes above and beyond all traits that will make him an excellent physician. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I present Cody Caston with the IU Osteopathic Medical Association Service Achievement Award. Thank you for your contributions to osteopathic medicine. And we wish you ongoing success in your residency and future endeavors. Congratulations, Cody. I am Shannon Remington, and I am a DO practicing rural family medicine in Melcher, Knoxville, and Pleasantville, Iowa, working for the Knoxville Hospital and Clinics in Knoxville, Iowa. As the acting president of the Iowa chapter of the American College of Osteopathic Family Physicians, and on behalf of our board of trustees, I am honored to be here virtually in our new normal to present the Iowa chapter ACOFP Service and Achievement Award. The Iowa chapter of the American College of Osteopathic Family Physicians in 1999 started awarding the Family Physician Student Award to a graduating osteopathic student who was active in the DMU ACOFP student chapter, the Iowa chapter ACOFP, and the ACOFP. We have presented this award to such remarkable people in the past, and this year's award winner is no exception. She was president of the DMU ACOFP student chapter and served as the student representative on the Iowa chapter ACOFP board of trustees. She is also attending the ACOFP National Conference with the Iowa delegation. She has a gift for peer education and fostering teamwork. It's noteworthy that she embraced nearly every teaching assistant opportunity Des Moines University offered. She has a passion for working with the entire breadth of family medicine patients indicated by her deep commitment to volunteering. Lastly, she understands the importance of expanding her medical knowledge base through self-driven education as evidenced by her attendance in Des Moines University's Rural Medicine Elective, Diversity Health Series, and Seeking Justice Series. She was also nominated for 
and inducted into the Good Humanism Honor Society during her third year. Physicians who have mentored her during her rotation have described her as being polite, pleasant, professional, punctual, knowledgeable, thorough, and organized. It is with great pleasure that the Iowa Chapter ACOFP presents Hannah Engelfson with the Iowa Chapter ACOFP Service Achievement Award. Congratulations, Hannah. The Joseph McNerney Award acknowledges excellence in internal medicine and all that the specialty embraces. Commitment to continuous advancement of education, spread of knowledge, compassion, and patient care. Joseph McNerney, class of 37, Papa Joe to his students, was a pioneer in internal medicine and a practitioner, lecturer, and teacher for more than 50 years. His deep commitment to patient care, osteopathic medicine, and medical education inspired and enhanced decades worth of students, interns, residents, and fellow physicians. Dr. Marnerni served as a chair of the DMU Board of Directors for over 10 years, was president of the American College of Osteopathic Internist, and was a director of internal medicine residency training at the Des Moines General Hospital. This year's awardee has consistently excelled throughout her preclinical training and her clinical rotations, receiving accolades from preceptors and ancillary staff. She has actively volunteered serving the geriatric population in Des Moines, was a vice president of the geriatrics clubs, and is a strong advocate for increasing awareness and narrowing the gap in healthcare. She also enjoys solving difficult, difficult puzzles and is truly fit for the specialty she has chosen. On behalf of the Department of Family and Internal Medicine, Medicine is my true pleasure to present the Joseph McNerney Award to Autumn Kersiel. Autumn, we wish you the best in your career and we are sure you will be a great DMU representative in this field. Carry with pride the learnings you've received from DMU. Congratulations. On behalf of the American Osteopathic Foundation and the advocates for the American Osteopathic Association, I am delighted to present Lauren Morris with the annual Donna Jones Mortisugo Memorial Award in recognition of the commitment and immeasurable support that you bestow to your partner, Clinton Morris, thereby enhancing his ability to thrive within the osteopathic profession. You truly represent the very best of who we are. Congratulations, Lauren. I'm pleased to present the Academic Achievement Awards to two graduates in the class of 2020. This level of academic recognition is based on achievements both academically and clinically as measured by cumulative GPA, COMLEX Level 1 and COMLEX Level 2 CE scores, and clinical grades in your core clerkships. This year's recipients of the award are Nicole Pagel and Tyler Michael Folkerts. Congratulations to Nicole and Tyler. Hello, graduates and families. I am Dr. Spockter, Program Director for the Masters of Science in Anatomy Program. Our goal as a Masters in Anatomy Program is to achieve for each of our graduates a level of competence and exuberance for the anatomical sciences, which they will carry with them throughout their lives as future educators, clinicians, and mentors. As a faculty, we are fortunate enough to share our time with several talented students. And at the end of those two years, we select those students who best exemplify our ideals of excellence in scholarship, professionalism, 
and service in the anatomical sciences. This is an honor which we as your faculty value highly, not only because of the foundational nature of anatomy, but also because of what this means to us as educators. This is a special time for us as we get to collate the list of top students based on your performance in the program, but more importantly, we get to remember your dedication, your countless hours of service as teaching assistants, and also how well you navigated to, through the challenges of graduate school. We usually end up with a single student, one primary degree and one dual, who exemplify what we as a program wish for each of our students. This year's recipient of the MSA Primary Degree Graduate of Distinction Award is Mido Mirvochak, and with him, receiving the MSA Dual Degree Graduate of Distinction Award is Faris Najwadi. Congratulations, gentlemen, and thank you to all of our graduates for your hard work. Hello, graduates and family. The research work of biomedical scientists is fundamental because it bridges the gap between basic sciences and medicine. And the Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences, MSBS program, has had the privilege to educate several generations of excellent biomedical scientists with a strong interest in scientific exploration and a desire to break new ground in biomedical knowledge. I'm Francesca Di Sole and I'm the Interim Program Director of the MSBS program. I have the pleasure to honor two recipients of the MSBS Graduate with Distinction Award for the excellence in biomedical research, service, professionalism, and uh, for their scientific and literary initiative, and furthermore for their aspiration to continue bridging the gap between basic science and medicine with a future career as a physician scientist. Please join me to congratulate Brian Liefschutz for the award of uh, the 2020 MSBS Dual Degree Graduate with Distinction. Brian will continue his education with a third year of clinical clerkship at the Des Moines University. With him, I wish to congratulate Matt Hayden for the award of the 2020 MSBS Primary Degree Graduate with Distinction. Matt will enter the MD PhD program at the School of Medicine at the University of Virginia in fall 2020. Please join me to wish well to both recipient of the MSBS Graduate with Distinction Award for the future endeavors. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Each year, DMU's College of Osteopathic Medicine selects one student who exemplifies the highest ideals of excellence in scholarship, clinical excellence, service, professionalism, and scientific and literary initiative. Although each of our students has distinguished themselves as a valued graduate of our university, we recognize one student who stands out and shines in these areas. Someone who has gone the extra mile in committing to academic and service pursuits and it is this individual we single out as the graduate of distinction. This is truly an honor for those of us in the Dean's office to review and choose this person. Working with the associate deans and faculty, a list of the highest performing students in the college is created based on a complex array of academic and service metrics. It is truly mind boggling to review this list as we spend significant time reflecting on the academic, clinical service and leadership qualities exhibited by nearly everyone whose name appears on the list. After a thorough review and a great deal of discussion, 
the dean's team is charged with identifying this one student that stands as the finest example for all of our students. It is my distinct pleasure to present the Des Moines University College of Osteopathic Medicine recognition for the Graduate of Distinction to Alyssa Ruth Resop. Alyssa will continue her medical career as an anesthesiology resident at the University of Wisconsin Hospitals and Clinics in Madison, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Alyssa. Hey guys, I'm Tasha. I'm the one that's been emailing you over and over trying to get you guys to turn in your graduating senior survey from ACOM. Um, many of you turned it in by the May 15th deadline and are in the drawing for this Mr. Coffee Espresso Maker. This is my son Tyler and he's super excited to help me do the drawing. Absolutely. So Tyler, if you would mix up the name. Okay, this is my dog, Gracie. She wanted to be in it. Caitlin Clean, you are the winner. I will ship this off to you. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Your recognition is well-deserved. And congratulations to the class of 2020. We have worked hard for this. So please take time to celebrate. In the wise words of Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Before we conclude the award ceremony, a few thank yous are in order. First, thank you to our professors and preceptors. Your example and commitment has made us better learners and equipped us with the knowledge to be competent physicians. Thank you to all the administration and staff. Your work made our education possible and we are so very grateful. Finally, thank you to all our family and friends that have brought us to this moment. Your love and support has made all the difference. To the class of 2020, I wish everyone the best of luck with their residencies and other endeavors. We have so much to contribute. Time to take our oaths, put on the long white coat, and do some good for the world.